Hello YouTube, it is Matt. This is Armstrong Gaming. This is the continuation of Episode 9's Dungeons of Dreadmoor. Alright. So, I've got very little um, memory pertaining this game. All I know is that I had to continue it on. Uh, open, open. There we go. Oh, I'm trying to make the little bit bigger. Uh, it's a little bit too big. That size is good enough. Alright, um, so we're going pretty warrior heavy in a lot of aspects of this game, like, I'm not using, you can see there's no ma wizard skill set at all. Oops, that was a trap. Alright, so, I'm just going to keep an eye on the time. Cool. Uh, as I clearly don't want to do too long a video for you guys, I'm going to try and keep them around about... 10-15 minutes. Alright, so we got a little blobby in here. This looks like it could have been a shop, but isn't, which semi-disappointing. Like, I could kind of go a shop right now, guys. That'd be nice. Is there anything on the counter top? No, there's something in there. And there, and there. And then we've also got the barbecue. Barbecue's great because you drop steak on it and get back grilled steak. Now I've covered this before. At least I'm pretty sure I have. Yep, pretty sure I have. Um, barbecue's great. You just chuck steaks on them whenever you can find them. Alright, well that trap took care of those guys. Yes, bash it in. Bash it with a hammer. Uh, yeah. Cool. Sweet orb. Not going to use it. Bash it! Oh. Bash it! Ooh, nice. Uh, a bit of cheese. Staircase down. What else we got across here? Another chest. Oh, sweet. I can actually start picking up mines. That's going to be good for my cash resolve. And the Horodric Loot Fish Cube. Awesome. Oh, I already got one. Ah. Well, that just became less awesome. Uh, there's no real point having two at all. Like, I'll sell one as soon as I can. Kick in the door. What do we got? Yep. Got that one down with a crit. Take that one down. Pick up some of this junk. Head up this way. Is this on a trap? Sure. I didn't even know there was a trap there. I'll take that every day of the week. Diamond. Ooh, they are a girl's best friend. And since I'm playing a female character, why the hell not make a reference? Alright, cool. Nothing there. Oh, actually, there's kill traps there. They're easy to pick up and they're worth experience. It's just hard to spot. guy just here, we'll take care of him. There's a guy there as well. Take care of him. Health wise we're still batting for hundred percent. Head this way. Come on. I so I don't want have I spotted a shop yet? No, I haven't. I just want to find a shop. Cause that's the sort of thing you want to there, see the cult shops. I didn't spot them time. Uh, you want to find a shop on the first level just because it is really good to find them and, and just. It's good to clear up the old inventory a bit. Let's put that on there. Learn stuff from the bookshop. Let's kick this one in. There's also a trap underneath him. Uh, 
Cool. So we're just going to have a look at what we have. Have ingredients. Craft. Craft. Uh, that didn't really free up any inventory. It freed up one spot in the inventory, but not really. Um, craft. Craft. And craft. Make a green cheese sandwich. Make another one. Alright, so free up. Like bugger all spots on the inventory. So here's one of those things where you could be using the Herodric Loot Cube fish um, and use it to basically fix your inventory problems by turning stuff into loot fisk and then turning that in uh, at the tithe positions up there on the mouse on the map. Yeah, just there. See it? I hope you can. Um, and turn them in for gear. There's nothing here. I'm not picking up the quest. I can't be bothered. I have to go all the way back down to this starting point just to find a way to go. So this way is completely tapped out. How are we doing for time? Oh, there's monster there. I was looking at my phone. Well, I was sitting around about six minutes or so. Alright, so let's get back to there. Uh, at the end of this little cutscene, I'll just cut it out. I'll be back in a sec. So that was my effort of making this video a little bit shorter, but still getting a decent amount done. So that you guys could see what the hell is going on a bit more. Let's just drop that in there. Oh, come on, keep the door in, sweetie. There we go. Oh, you make a wish and pull the lever. Got it. Where's the lever? There it is. All the healing. Drink from the fountain. Your body got a little bit more moisture. Medium regen. The limbs straighten in your first is Ah, cool, sweet. Drink. Everything seems so clear. Clear vision. Nice. You know what I miss right now? <gasps> I was going to say lockpicks, but I missed the shop more. Alright, so click that sorting button. Bam, bam, bam. Don't sell food, sell that drink. Alright, cool. Ah, I can't be bothered with the other stuff. That's pretty good. Alright, so what do we get up to? 4,500. What have we got access to? Emma, mace, mace, ash, flippy floppers, and mace. Not a lot, but it did allow us to clear up the inventory a bit, which is nice. And that was literally the biggest point out of all of that. We got to clear up the inventory. <gasps> then we picked up lockpacks. Lockpacks. You, you can't be serious. That can't be the entirety of level one. Oh, alright. Alright, well, we're going to wander over to where you would go. Oh, wait, it's right there. Why wander halfway across the map? Wait, that's just stupid. There we go. Stairs down. I swear it's not just a black room. We're right, we're right there. You're just a little off the camera. Oh, great. Alright, so we'll kill this zombie. And that'll do us for this level. For this video, I should say. I, I hope you guys are enjoying this one a bit. Like, I enjoy playing this game. It comes in drips and drabs for me, though. Like, it is fun, don't get me wrong. But it, sometimes it's just not as fun as you hope. Uh, I was talking to one of my friends on Steam. I highly recommended him buying this. Um, he's got most of it already and he hasn't got the expansion packs yet. A um, lot of fun opening up a lot of new abilities. Like, I'm doing pretty well. Like, I've got one, two, three. 
I picked up you know, level. I'm doing alright for levels. I'm like level three or four. Getting there, almost at the next level as well. So when we come back with the next video, we will continue with episode nine's adventure. This is episode ten. Um, we'll be continuing this character through until she passes on, as I'm still playing with permadeath. All right. I hope you guys are enjoying it. This is Matt. This is Armstrong Gaming. That was Dungeons of Dreadmore. Catch you next time, guys.